Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth, if you're new, welcome. I'm traveling, visiting my daughter, and today I took a little trip to the Goodwill outlet to see if I could find fabric or anything crafty. Let's get started. Before I take you to the thrift store, I thought I'd show you this quilt that is sitting behind me on the bed. I shared about it a couple of years ago, so I'm gonna leave a link below to the video that shows how I made a quilt very similar to this one and this one is a quilt that lives at my daughter's house. So here's the thrift store I visited today. It's an outlet Goodwill and things are priced by the pound for the most part and the first thing I found amazingly enough I found a couple of quilts so it, everything is in bins and you have to dig through a lot of junk, but I did find this handmade quilt. And one of these days, I think I'll share how this quilt was made because I have made one like this before, but it's been quite a while. This one had a bit of paint or something on the back. Someone hand quilted it. And today I won't be purchasing this quilt, but I did want to show this beautiful quilt that someone made and hopefully I'll share about how to make a very similar quilt in a future video. I did dig through a lot of bins at the Goodwill store and I saw this quilt from a distance. I thought it was factory made, but the more I looked at this beautiful quilt, the more I realized this was hand embroidered and quilted and someone spent a lot of time on this quilt and this is a quilt that I did purchase today. I laid this beautiful quilt on the bed when I got home to get an idea how big it is and it's pretty big. This is a queen size bed and it covers it very nicely I think it might even work on a king size, but this is such a beautiful quilt that someone hand embroidered with those X's. I believe it was printed on there, and I'm not sure, but I think maybe the quilting design was also printed on there. A very beautiful quilt. Here is the edge of the quilt. There is no binding. It looks like uh, the quilter turned those edges in and did a little slip stitch all the way around. A very unusual way to do the edge. At least I have not seen many quilts like that. And here's the backing. You can see where the quilt, the hand quilting stitches are and they went around all of the motifs, all of the flowers and leaves, and they did a really pretty quilting design all over this quilt. I had no idea that I would find quilts, so that was really amazing. I was looking for cotton fabric, and here are some cotton sheets I found. Here's a great one for the back of a baby quilt. And I found a cotton tablecloth that is really pretty fabric that I will be using in a future quilt. I might use this for a backing. It's really pretty. I found this handmade dress out of this cotton fabric, this purple cotton fabric. There's quite a bit of fabric because the skirt is gathered and this will come in handy in my stash. And here's another sheet for a child's quilt and then some plain sheets. I always like getting my white um, fabric from a sheet, cotton sheet, and here's one more cotton sheet that I thought was really nice. So I got quite a bit of fabric in that thrift store today. I love needlepoint. I think it's beautiful and of course it's so time consuming. But here is a finished needlepoint on a frame. There was no um, wooden frame around it. They put it on 
the stretcher bars here and ready to be hung up. I kind of think I'm going to take it off this frame and turn it into a pillow. I think I would prefer having this as a pillow and I'm going to see if that works but I purchased this today. Just I appreciate all the work that went into that. But I'd mention this quilt at my daughter's house that I made a while back. I do have a video how to make this quilt and I'll leave a link below. The fifth thing I found was yarn and beads. Just some random craft supplies. A lot of beads so someone was getting rid of all their beads and I have a desire to learn how to make some jewelry, bracelets and whatnot so I purchased all of these beads. The price for all the items I purchased today was by the pound. It's $1.50 per pound and I had 30 pounds worth of items and the last thing I purchased was I purchased some clothing items. This is a wool sweater and I thought it was really pretty, a good name brand and I purchased that. I have a J. Jill dress, a long just flowy simple dress. Um, I hope you can see my filming okay. I'm not sure about this sweater but it was all wool and I suspect it's an older brand. A brand new shirt that's too big for me but it's such a simple design. I think I will be able to take it in and it will fit me just fine. And then I found a sweatshirt that it will fit me or my daughter. So I got a few clothing items and let me tell you, I had a lot of fun today at the thrift store. I am curious to know if you have any favorite items from my little shopping trip today. What kind of things do you like to find at the thrift store and maybe um, what you like best in this shopping trip that I had today? Let me know down in the comments. And I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.